It's an amazing day really, a bit of a patch of conditions luckily. FP1 was all good and dry so I managed to just get a feel for the track and the bike and then had a good feeling, made a couple changes and then ready for FP2 but we went out for the second exit for FP2 because it was wet and we just didn't really want to risk it and so then I saw it was dry so I was like right I may as well go out get some more track time and yeah I was just I think a second and a half quicker um, in that session and yeah I just felt really good on the bike and really good for qualifying in the morning. It feels good, yeah. I had a um, had a decent first session, nice little base to build off of, and um, yeah, just built up throughout. And then the second one, it was wet, it was raining for a couple hours, so I didn't know whether I was going to go out. I was actually sat on the bank uh, just watching, like not even in my levers at the beginning. And then I, we went back, got changed, and I went out on drives for a little bit. And I had, I had quite a good feeling, but I had uh, quite bad bike problems with the engine, so I couldn't. I couldn't really get up to speed, but I had a good session and uh, it's been nice to just build and uh, get used to the circuit for this weekend. Uh, I'm feeling really confident throughout the first session. We've been gaining a lot of pace and then for the second session, we're just trying a little, uh, a few different things and we're getting there. We went from wet, uh, a wet setup in the first half of the second session and then we went to a dry setup. It was pretty good. Yeah.